So welcome back to War on the Sea Pacific Theater Mod Part 207. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> I just talked for over an hour to an empty mic. Uh, my mute button was on. It's uh, on this microphone, this Fi Fi uh, Fine Fine, whatever it's called. Um, the way I have it oriented is the volume and whatever buttons are on the top of it when I face it towards me and the bottom of it is where the mute button is and if I'm looking at the mic right now I can't see the mic the mute button being green or red and uh, for the past hour I was just talking recording this video and uh, I just for whatever reason looked down propped my head underneath the mic there and it was red so I didn't have any sound for the microphone so I just canceled the recording, deleted what I did, and then we went right into the game where we were. And uh, here we are. So let's get back to doing what I was doing that you guys didn't see, which was not much. I just familiarized myself with some things that were happening in the game. Um, and that was it. Uh, I just set up, set um, the uh, Corsairs over Cap and uh, of Cebu Defense Force. Before, as I was explaining, I had six Corsairs and I sent them on a pattern here to repeat and it did it. It kept doing it for like past 10 videos maybe. And uh, now I'm gonna see if it will do it just by being Cap over a fleet. Um, I have a feeling it won't. And if, after that, you know, the next day, when we get to day 561, we'll see that these guys are gone, and I'll have to establish them on a reoccurring route that I established myself. So, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> we just put these guys, uh, we've picked up some more supplies we stole from Monado, and uh, we're sending them into the invasion group. And uh, we're getting closer. So let's keep the ball rolling here. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I'm doing the best I can to make this entertaining for you. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. It's Sunday where I am. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed your day so far. Okay, did it work or is it, I think it's still there. No. <clears throat> so, the uh, experiment with the uh, Corsairs, they did not return. So, I'm going to go back into Cebu, put the Corsairs up, and I'm going to put them on a route and see if they reoccur the course. So, that I just want it to be a simple thing like this. And have it reoccur so hopefully that will keep going we'll have to check for the next day 562 see if that comes back um, hopefully it will but let's see um, 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 um. have we resupplied here not yet Ah, we got stuff down here that we didn't pay attention to. Um, Port Moresby, can you unload your stuff here? Yes, you can. I'm liking that. So now that we got that done, let's send you off um, back up somewhere. Where do we want to send you? I think we want to send you to Wake Island. Uh, Wake Island is... A little bit broken. What can we do here? What's our gap? It's only two. Nah. I think we just want to send a... Let's send you off. Yep, 
Yep. Keep doing that route. Uh, this next group, when they come back, maybe we won't go to Port Moresby this time. Maybe we'll go somewhere else, like... Um, maybe it's Singapore that we want to invest in next. Kaching. You got an awful lot of stuff there, man. Uh, Brunei is good. Uh, Puerto Princesa, you need to be helped out a little bit, I think. So we have uh, this group, and we're going to have you guys merge with the Defense Force at Tawi Tawi. Um, let's have you merge. It's a full group now. Um, let's set up the formation for you. Uh, so we go here and we look and we see what we got. <clears throat> In this group there is... These light, dis light destroyer, or old, older destroyer escorts. Um, but we got a couple of these new destroyers. One, two, three. So I think that's what we're going to use for 1098. Um, I want you to be in the 10 position. And then it doesn't really matter after that. I'll just put people where they belong, I guess. Yeah. So we got Radford and Sampson doing the outside of the uh, screen. And Blen Blessin Blessman in the center um, for that. And I think we need to spread everybody out. And then who's the most important guy in this group? We do have some damage. Um, should we think about maybe sending these guys off to repair? They would have to go all the way to Port Moresby. Uh, or no, we could go to Pelu, right? Pelu? No, let's just rearm. Uh, yeah, we'd have to go all the way down here to Port Moresby for the level 5 port um, to release those ships. Uh, but for now, I think what we want to do is... Of course, you right there, my friend, and have you sit tight. Um... Is there anything over here that we need to be concerned with? We really don't. Uh, we can... Tawi Tawi, what do you got on you? Let's have you guys do a scouting mission here. And I want you to just do this. Let's go back over to uh, Cebu. And it looks like our experiment worked. You're still doing that, which is good. Do it forever. And we're going to continue on with this mission. So Force Z is doing basically nothing at the moment. Um... Just keeping these guys active here. That's all we're doing. Uh, let them do their thing. And we do have Port Moresby Defense Force, which could use some love. That's for sure. Uh, don't really want to play with that one, right? Let's check the dockyard. Queen Elizabeth still... We're not sending out anything until we get to King George. Uh, I don't want to utilize these command points for the Queen Elizabeth right now. So we're just going to let her do her thing. Um, get a new paint job, make her a museum. Wouldn't that be nice if that if they did that? I don't like going that fast. There we go. So now we're waiting on something before we send in those groups. I don't recall what it was. I don't see us having anything else coming our way. So I think on. What's a good date for this to happen? Let's 
check our, our log here and see what we have coming up in our new fleets. So, I don't think, hmm, let's take a look and see. So Baltimore's are rather old. Yeah, that's a long ways away. Alaska. I want the Alaska out though. Both the use what? Unavailable. California unavailable. Currently being used. So U and C is what those two things mean. California, why is it not available? I don't know. New Mexico. All you guys are being utilized. Uh, Pennsylvania, all of you are being utilized. Unavailable Arizona because reasons. Uh, Colorado, West Virginia. Those are the ships that were lost at Pearl Harbor. They're represented here. It's why we can't use them. North Carolina. Okay. Um, So, <laughs> who do we got? Who, who do we got that's got some good love for the North Carolina? Um, North Carolina, Washington, we definitely want to utilize. What's the difference here? Not very good anti-aircraft. It's got 20 anti-aircraft guns. Why doesn't it represent it there? That doesn't look very good representation. If we go back to, you know, like Colorado, look at that. And that's got how many? Two groups of secondary 16, right? So these guys aren't uh, dual purpose. So these guys are, which means the dual purpose means they can shoot. Maybe these guys are strictly AAA and these guys can do AAA and surface targeting. I don't know. What else we got going on here? Let's see here. Um, so the Essex is still the one we got right now. Um, I don't really want to use any more command points at this time so the next goal I think is that's a whole year away basically not quite a year but eight months or whatever it is um, we're waiting on John C. Butler December um, uh, Rudlow I don't think you are part of the mission I'll review the uh, Taffy 3 again to see if Rud Rudder Row. Did I just say that? Like, what row? Um, yeah, I don't think this is part of the Taffy 3. I think it's just the uh, John C. Butlers I'm waiting, waiting on to complete this Taffy 3A and Taffy 3 to complete these. Um, so yeah, December 16th is what we're waiting on. So that's a ways away. We gotta process the game a little bit. So let's uh, just get through some time here and see if we can make good things happen. Uh, Okinawa Group 3. We definitely don't want to imbalance EWO, so we're gonna go even again. Um, yeah, let's manage cargo send you back I'm not overly concerned about being in balance at this location troops supplies troops supplies engineering fuel and we we'll just take more troops to alleviate some of the pain and we're going to course you back here. 
All right, who else we got? That's good. Um, you're stealing from Oak, from Saipan, so let's do the same thing. Yep, just even even it out, my friend. Even it out. So a little more supplies there. And go troops. And we'll send you back up to Evo. that's it for now um, why are you guys doing that don't like them following the same path like that let's let these guys get to their spots You're gonna go back to Wake Island. Uh, let's uh, manage your cargo. And I kind of want to fix this location. So to do that, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of steal all the supplies. And then we're gonna go engineering. Gotta take the mail. And that's right after resupply. So this will be just the one run. Uh, Midway, are you ready to unload? Good. Still not where I want to be, but. And you're going back, and you're gonna sit. Get the ball rolling again. Get these guys all doing their thing. Singapore. Okay, pay attention to the time. My end users not paying attention to the clock. So I, be <clears throat> I believe, uh, <clears throat> I believe uh, Okinawa was invaded in '44. Um, I know Iwo Jima was '44. I think. I don't know. I gotta do the research and find that. Maybe you guys can write the comment in there. Um, specific uh, specific dates of invasion. I think we're still too early um, for that, but uh, is what it is. Where's my... Is that you? Oh, you're going out. Outbound. <clears throat> um, Milne Bay. We should probably think about upping you eventually. Um, we could use a, a few points. Uh, we're in safety zone right now. So if I was to do that, I would go...
just because why not use them um, three fancy ships out front and then um, MS uh, and I don't want to use the slowest so we're sticking with C3s um, one two three so it'll be my thought process behind this is engineering supplies supplies and then an oiler so um, with seven ships that's a screen and a square I'm okay with that and that's all we're gonna send that's gonna be our manila we should actually call it New Guinea supply so it can go to different places and uh, yeah let's do that enough so two three six two three six lead and I want number one to be my oiler so oiler and three supply ships so supplies supply supply engineering um, that way we can slowly build up to increase the port levels at some of these main locations uh, the goal is to get Milne Bay up to a level five be just because it's a it's a main game point for this um, we must maintain Port Moresby and Milne Bay these are the uh, the key factors to the game if they're not taken care of uh, you lose I think but I think you can lose them then get them back and who knows but uh, dockyard you're still in there for two days so that's why we did that and also to it's fun to watch a player put together um, fleets I guess so now do we just do that and now we don't have any supplies to pick up let's see probably not supplies no we don't so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fuel for the Cimarron and then we're gonna go somewhere else and somewhere else is let's see what we got who's got a lot of supplies not you and we can you know <clears throat> we, we can go somewhere Hello's got some supplies. Uh, what about Sarong? Not really. Uh, Alright, we're going to wait. Um, we're going to go... I'm sorry, not that one. We're going to go to Wake Island, and we're going to wait until it's even before we send it uh, somewhere else, which would be Milne Bay. Um... And I'll probably forget that I did that, but who knows? We'll see. And we probably got another supply attack, and we do. So we're going to ignore you, my friend. Close that one out. Uh, we do what we always do, and it's uh, P. It's, it's kind of routine, you know, to get into this habit. Uh, you're doing pretty good where you are. Um, we can actually affect that once again and have it go let's say just get a little closer we're gonna stay in this route here um, and from here we want to uh, we're gonna put up cap over uh, Sarah Lex 
So you guys do that. Um, once again, into the breach with this uh, slider. Okay, so you're covered for safety purposes. And now we are going to go to... Um, have you launch up your Avengers. I want to try torpedoes a little bit here. I think we're close enough. It shouldn't be an issue. Um, so you're going to be up and we want you to go this direction. We have everybody follow you this time, um, but we're going to send up dive bombers as well off the Lexington. Uh, but first we're going to send up some cap and I only want a few. We only need 12. And you're going to follow the Avengers. A Avengers Assemble, that is. Are you guys fans of Avenger movies? Or MCU movies? Or the, the newest ones? And Dauntless's full group. Um, it's only six ships, but these guys need their practice, and boy, oh boy, uh, we found that some of our guys just can't hit the uh, broad side of the barn sometimes, so we want to make sure, and you're following the Avengers as well, so three groups following all the same route of the uh, Avengers, and let's see how that works out for us. Um, first things first, let's see the direction they're headed, so we go slow. And we just kind of focus on they're heading south as they have been. Wait until they pretty much disappear. Are they going this way or are they heading down? They're heading south. So we're going to go there. And let's go to our Avengers and put them on the box. Right here. Now the reason why you keep them together is so that they can be in the engagement at the same time. You see there's some bounce back here. Uh, the Dauntlesses don't seem to be catching up with the slower Avengers, which is silly. Um, they're not going to rubber band, which means we have to ensure. Let's go to the Avengers and look. 240 is the range they got left. What do the Dauntlesses have on them? Double of that. And the fighters? Yeah, same as the Avengers. Um, so we're pretty good there. This is going to be a good morning drop. Uh, we do have a little bit of a problem, and that is that the Avengers went past, which is fine. We need to get everybody on target here. So heading back so that these guys can group in. Go slow. Alright, I'm okay with that. Let's tactical this. So we have two sides, because they're going to be in here. So we have uh, the Dauntless is coming from one direction and the Avengers coming from another. We are going to send the Avengers first. I want all these guys to circle. So let's start it up. And we're going to go to... Let's go to the Avengers first. And I want you guys to so you're formed up. Okay, colors. I know we've talked about this, but some people may know and not know. Who knows? Um, there's only a certain number of colors in the rainbow in this uh, game. And when you double up on colors, the orders go to the same colors. Like if I tried to give these guys an order, uh, 
I believe they would. No, no, that's a bad example. How about this one for an example? Okay, it's not going to do it right now. That's fine. Do your thing. Um, well, that's why I broke. That's why this guy broke because he was the same color as this first group, and that's why he was included in this order that I was doing. So, but let's get these guys on the deck. Can we see our ships from where we are? Should be in front of us somewhere. There they are right there. And it looks... So they're heading this way. I want you guys to go down and do a turn. And then I want these guys to go this way. We can put them all together. you guys to do a turn. You to do a turn. You to do a turn. You to do a turn. So with the uh torpedo bombers so we have 15 of those so I'm gonna say we go for it's a good position right, how about we go for um, two three four or one two three one two three what's this guy you get no guns on you they're not even sending out oilers with the guns that I fear. These guys are all unarmed. Which is, oh, this guy's got guns. All right, so we're not gonna we're gonna stay away from you. So we're gonna go in in six one five mode. Yeah, six one five. So when these guys get on the deck, Gonna do three groups of five. Overkill? Yeah. Just to even it out and make everybody happy and play the game, right? That's what we're gonna do. So as soon as we get down. Okay, so we're gonna break you guys. One, two, five. Form up. So we'll let these guys get into their positions here. Fighters, I want you guys to uh, go that way. Because so we're going to go after number four. See the status on these guys if they're good and formed up.
Yeah, you kind of want these guys to do their thing a little bit better. in a position at the bow. We don't want them to be attacking with torpedoes from the bow. We want to attack from the side. Um, so these guys are good. These guys are going to be good. Once he gets to this point here, we're going to have him go on a turn. So hard turn, boys. guys are doing your turn and you guys need to do that so the wildcats are doing their thing uh, we need to stop them in their turn because we're going to send them we're going to send them when we decide to send the uh, avengers they'll get there first and it will make the anti-aircraft not that big of a deal when they get there. Let's let these guys get in position. I'm okay with that. So with that, we want number one group to go after number five. want number two group to go after number six and we want number three group to go after number one now is this the greatest uh, formation not really but it's spread so it'll be harder for them to to hit um, at the same time going to send our dive bombers. Uh, we're not going to send them all at the same time. Uh, we're going to send some. So where do we start from? Let's start from the back and make our way. do have a lot of these, so I kind of want to make sure that this guy's gone, so we're going to send two groups after him. Let's go right up the line. And the rest of you, was it one, two, three, four? I want to sit and wait. So we're going to go boom and boom and say form up. And then you guys are going to do a turn the other way. And uh, we're actually going to raise you up. We're going to do this test again. I know that we've talked about this before, but in other mods for this specific theater mod, the altitude is 7,000 feet. Uh, I could have that totally wrong, but th that's what I recall. And what I've come to believe is that when you go to 7,000 feet and hit the attack button, they immediately dive to 3,500 or whatever it was originally, and then they go on an attack. And if you establish that over the fleet, you're just circling over ships to shoot your sh aircraft down, and that's a bad scenario. So let's let these guys do their thing. And... Um, once the Dauntlesses that are attacking, which should be all the guys back here, um, once they go in and attack, when they get close, we're going to send in this guy to do a one pass on number four. don't necessarily want to do that 
now, but I guess we can because the Avengers are getting closer. So let's just hit the attack button on these guys. I don't want them spread a little bit. Make them harder to hit. Let's follow these guys in, see what they can do. So again, we're going for these three ships here. Hopefully we can get a good uh, pass. These guys are going for the middle one. Torpedoes away. Let's not lose any aircraft, huh? Wow. Following these torpedoes right in. Torpedoes away. This guy's toast. Call that a success, successful attack. This other guy's gonna get hit by three. Wow. Very well done, boys. So the Avengers did a great job. Very happy with them. We're gonna have you guys box up and go up. And you can speed up. And um, you guys can head this way. Do your thing. Um, so Wildcats are coming in to make a mess of this guy. He's got guns. Oh, jeez. And the dive bombers are coming in to see how the aircraft is following them. Is he done already? No. Let's get some hits, boys. Should be enough for you. Yeah. That's, that's enough for you. I think you're done. You're not shooting anymore. So that's a, that's a sight to be remembered. So, you guys, I don't think, need to be uh, doing much of anything at this point. Um, there's only one ship left. Um, what do we do about that? Well, we don't bring ammunition back to the ship. It makes it too dangerous. We don't want to drop it in the uh, ocean. Um, unexploded ordnance is a bad thing. So we're going to form you guys up. to uh, make this guy go away. We got 7,000 feet. We're going to go directly in and I want to show uh, what's happening here. As this one ship is sitting all alone trying to escape. They think they're safe. We're at a <coughs> game perfect altitude. Um, we are in formation. Uh, let's uh, close it in. show you what they do. Um, let's say you want to say we're going to go 
win and we're gonna dive right at the proper time and, and all that kind of stuff. And I wanna show you what happens and it won't be that dangerous because the ship is not that dangerous. It doesn't have that many guns. So you got all these aircraft coming in, right? And our ship has given us broadside as well. It's this guy here. This is our guy. So let's see what happens when we hit the attack button. So these guys are all, instead of diving, they're decreasing their altitude. And uh, let's look at the altitude of the Dauntlesses right here and see what they're looking at. So again, um, this is the guy. So 46, I think it's like 35, maybe it's more than that, but maybe feet and meters are things I'm confusing myself with, but uh, as an American, we use feet, so that was just, what, 29, 28, they're still descending, 28, 16, 10, still dive. 2790. Yeah, 2790. Let's see how ugly this is for this guy. Yeah, that's a bad day. Let's get all of these guys involved in the show. And, uh, yeah, and that guy's toast. So, yeah, he, he had a really bad day. Um, he didn't lose any aircraft. I think uh, it was a successful mission. I kind of drew that out more than it needed to be. And um, that's okay. But uh, let's get out of here. So 51 aircraft went in, none were lost, and uh, six command points were gained. Overkill, for sure. So now we go back to this mission part, and we say, what do we got to do? Um, well, we got to send everybody home. So you're going to RTB. I want the Dauntlesses. Let's remove that. Uh, Dauntlesses, I want you to RTB. I'm doing them individually so that they go back together. And, or not together, but just go back. Um, and you guys, RTB as well, because I want them to land. And let's get rid of the note. And uh, they'll all come in and land. We have cap for protection, so the timeout won't be an issue. And land, and land, and land. And that's good. I don't like the screen of those scouts, but whatever. So we, we were successful on the torpedo attack and we were successful on the dive bomber attack as well as the no losses on the fighter attack. Which makes me happy. Let's keep going. So we're having these guys come in now. Pretty healthy over here. Um, I wonder if um, we just keep 
doing this um, until we're ready to engage and then make this a monster base. Um, you know, could we go to five and five on both of these? Yeah, I think we can. Um, we need more engineering, but that's going to happen here shortly. Uh, let's get you... Let's get you headed back. Um, we're going to send you to Wake Island this time. And then when you get there, you're going to go to Midway. Your 11,000 gap, which is fine. So you're going to go to the midway. And when you get here, which you seem to be slower than the rest of the group, we're going to send you somewhere else. You might take a Peleliu run. Um, as we have, you're going to Wake, you're going to New Guinea later, but Wake Island is a little top heavy. Look at this. Um, Franklin, how about you do something with these guys? Let's go in and, uh, and make them regret their choices. I want to see some battleships shoot their guns. Let's see if we can cross the T. Let's go tactical on these boys and uh, get them to do their business. Should be right over here somewhere. They are. Um, I'm going to say... They're just going to attack at will. I'm going to let them do their thing. So who's got the coolest guns on the ship here? Um, let's look at you, boy. Will ya? Let's do your business. I want to see you wreck something. You ready for this, boys? Let's do it. Cool. Can I get a hell yeah? What are you doing over here? You gonna shoot too? See what kind of love we got going on. Oh, star shells. Okay. Who's shooting star shells? Don't know. It's only three ships. Um, are you shooting star shells still? So, who are you guys shooting at now? 
number one. Starting to zero in. And because we have a level three at Iwo Jima, we can reload. Not as accurate. Flashes in the distance. That should do you for 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 then some, right? This guy over here thinks he can run away. See, we have destroyers, I'm guessing, shooting up star shells of the next target. This guy's got big holes in him. Yeah, that should be enough for you. see what this guy's plan of action is he should be if I was him I would get in this smoke and just run away as best you can and then prep the lifeboats because you're gonna have a bad day uh, are we needing to turn I don't think so I think we just continue on this way and let you guys uh, partake in mission critical shooting of uh, blowing this guy out of the water. What's the uh, issue with these guys? Okay, the bow is in arc and the stern is barely in arc. You guys are going to shoot here shortly. Love it. What about you? How are you doing? With your guns. Don't really know why you're doing the turn, but okay. I'm getting over here. Are you guys shooting? Yeah. How we doing over here? Any hits and booms and booms? I'm trying to see the ships in the distance. There they are. They're over here. Flashes in the horizon. Shouldn't take long. Overkill? Absolutely. Love it? Love it. Are they accurate? Not very. Accurate enough? Yes. And you, my friend, are done. So we go back over here and, uh, for example, we look at uh, these ships and they're stowing their guns.
Which again, I like this game, how it does this. They programmed all these little features and add-ons. Would I love to see little figurines running around the ship? Absolutely. That'd be cool too. So it looks like everybody's good to go. Uh, one last thing to check, and that is, is this important or not? Um, I don't think it's that important, but we're going to check ammunition storage. So you only got four HE in the back, 12 in the front. It's a lot of HE we sent out. Uh, Santa Fe, AP, no HE. Back, no HE. Wisconsin, you got a few HE, didn't use AP. You're good, Wisconsin, New Jersey. You're good. Um, what do we use for small arms? We got a lot, awful lot. We may have shot some. Yeah, they actually shot star shells from the secondary guns, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see what you're doing. Did you shoot? I'm gonna say you did. 60 star shells. You shot star shells as well. Cause you got 40, 40. These guns carry 60, so I think they shot star shells from the front. What about you? What did you do? Yeah, I can't really tell. 660 AP, 330. I don't know if they, I don't think they, I think the rear turret has less ammunition than the front turrets. 126, 126, zero star shells. Okay. Renshaw. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're doing fine. I think this fleet looks amazing. And, uh,. Let's give them a round of applause for job well done. It's an awesome looking fleet, I have to say so. Let's get out of here. Three command points, a lot of ammo expelled, but I think we're good for a bit. Um, see, here's the thing. Uh, do we want to just head back here and rearm? Because we have a level three. Um, I think we can stay out for a little bit longer. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's do a, a course like this. Have you keep doing your thing. Keep an eye on the supply groups and where they are what they're doing so that 65 command points is the uh, the British ship battleship that we just got back um, I'm not gonna do anything with it yet uh, I think we're gonna King George it which is King George we got a bunch of these bad boys, uh, October. So October 43, we're gonna spam out a bunch of these bad boys. Um, I don't think we're gonna send up any, any, um, you know, I don't like the representation of this. It looks like there's a whole bunch of AAA, but when you come here, it just doesn't look, it's all center, center mass, so it's hard to tell the numbers. But I imagine when you look at this ship, and we'll look at it eventually, you know, um, what, October 15th, so almost a month away. But that's what we're going to use, command points to reinforce and put Force Z back on the map. 
These guys are fine. They're just scouting around. Staying at sea is the way to be during the war. Mm -hmm. Let's let these guys go. So, why am I still sitting on Manila? Why am I not sending in um, a force to take care of these guys? Well, we're just uh, enjoying the game, my friends. And that's what you do. This guy's still sending up Hellcats. And, you know, um... You know, I love it. Uh, is Ultima the, uh, one of the new carriers? No, it's one of the old carriers. The 16 fighters. Um, I don't notice this happening in other groups. We set them once, and they're still doing it. And I love it, but I have a feeling there's... It's not the same everywhere, but uh, we're going to retreat out of here. And who else do we got covering? Um, Okinawa Group See if they stay up. This is group four from the Wasp. Different type of aircraft. Let's do a test and see if these all maintain aircraft over the day. Looks like we have some supply, supply guys dropping off over here. So let's do some unload. Creep in closer to where we want to be. Let's have you sit for a moment because we're going to have you pick up. up midway are you uh you're sitting yeah we're waiting and okinawa group two i think you're gonna wait as well because midway hasn't been resupplied and we don't want to put i guess we could take troops um how many could we do want to maybe we just send you down here to take off just troops and break this chain of pain. Let's do that. Before we start the clock, let's take a quick look here. Um, yeah, we don't have anything to take. If we had fuel, it would have taken fuel, but we're going to come down here. We're going to take mainly supplies, or mainly troops, try and even out. You just got to kind of make those choices every once in a while. Um, we have so many, so many supplies over here. Um, as soon as this guy arrives, we'll click the uh, button. Not that we need to, but the reason for clicking the button is this 67 167 uh, we're gonna go port on this one because I have a feeling the uh, well let's let's go aircraft again and see see if that does anything again I, I, I don't think it will but I 
All right, let's check and see what happened with these supply, these uh, aircraft. Um, so this group four, we had up a cap from the wasp. It did not carry over. This one has it carried over from a bogue. An early bogue, not even a late bogue. Um, I think we want to exchange out some of these ships as well. Um, we can maybe update the bogue from a from a basic bogue to a Alright, come on. So this guy seems to be with his 16 aircraft. They're re they're, this one, for whatever reason, is carrying over the cap order. I don't think we have any more of these left. Nope, I wish we did, like that ship. Uh, this one with its 18 aircraft. Let's swap that out and see if that carries over on this group. And then maybe we have something to address. New Guinea. Um, okay, so we're gonna finish up with you and let's say uh, I'm going to think that we can just get away with doing our troops, our supplies, um, supplies and engineering. And we might as well just do a little bit of uh, mail and birthday cake. Or these are actually going to be uh, turkeys for Thanksgiving coming up in November. And you guys are going to Milne Bay, right? Is that where I said I wanted to send you? Or was it so wrong? Let's do a quick check here. Yeah, let's go to Milne Bay. So 140 is 430, 470. So we're not quite ready to hit that if we wanted to. Engineering would be 117, right? So three, yeah. So we're not quite ready to do that yet. Um, let's go to Milne Bay with it. That's kind of what I wanted to do in the first place. So that's where we're sending you. Um, We've neglected in Milne Bay for quite a while, so let's get that. I can't think we can do better than that. There we go. Do your thing, my friend. You're waiting until we get um, resupplied, right? Yeah, when this changes, we get resupplied, then we'll send these guys back on their mission. All right, you guys are unloading. All right, still about 11 away. I'm okay with that. So I think we can go up and click here. Um, all right. Um, here's the thing, boys and girls. We can't launch even though we have level three airfield here. Um, so basically it would be command points that is all we're worried about. Now if we went back over to the rules and we look and we see our port ranks are, we have 30. 
and that means 30 locations. Our airfield ranks means, we, well not locations, but levels of airfield. Um, 76 is the levels of airfields we have. In other words, level one, two, three, four, five times how many other places we got. And if we saw locations and we say, locations is how many blue do we have on the, on the block here? And it's slow because of the long list. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So I think we're going to go port on this one because, because. So the next time we send something, it will be engineering heavy. And you see that we're now from 11,000 gap between troops and supplies. We're about uh, five and two, 7,000. It's really 8,000. Yeah, close enough. Um, but to get to level five port, we would have to go to uh, 5,000 gap, which we're there. We have that already. But we need, what, another 500 engineering. We are at the max for fuel, but we can get more. So that's kind of the thing. And yet we still can't launch aircraft. I know that we can't launch aircraft just because I leveled this up, but if I level this up, I still don't think we'd be able to level or uh, launch aircraft, which is unfortunate. Let's keep going. Okay, we've been resupplied, so now let's send uh, uh, Even Steven down. Um, by Even Steven, I mean um, I mean uh, engineering fuel, and then we go uh, troops, supplies. Troops, supplies, troops. Uh, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to take troops on this group. We're trying to fix uh, Wake. So let's do that. Um, And we're just going to go all ham on it. Why not? And you're going to go there. And at the same time, you guys can swap and go back. And that's kind of how all these bases should be. There should be a supply group that runs here uh, for every single one. And uh, maybe that's something I'll do. Um, we have just a... Uh, slow boat to china supply ships that just go to each one of my ports which is what would happen but it would be more like um you know cause raid to guadalcanal tarawa to santa cruz pompeii to shortland rubble and calving uh or truck would do that and then these guys would go this way and so on through every single part that we have and right now we don't have that happening which is not really realistic if we'd own a port there would be a supply chain going to each one of them and um, unless we took it and then pulled everything off of it which we did I think we probably left a skeleton crew behind um, yeah that's an idea we might think to do to do that that would be kind of neat I think maybe um, what do you guys got going on over here? So you wanted to go and um, do something as well. What did you want to do? Um, Saipan, what are you still doing? You're still capping heavy. Let's get you over there and steal from them. So Saipan is a two. 
Um, we don't really need it to do anything. Uh, they have Wildcats, Mariners, Catalinas, and Liberators. And the location for attack is makes this kind of irrelevant. Um, we have Mariners with bombs. A whole bunch of Mariners out with bombs. Which is not really the greatest. Um, what about you? We made a, a point to send you out uh, pretty active. And uh, put you up with a bunch of fighters um, let's patrol here in a reoccurring thing with your nine guys just because and let's course you to be one fifty six just do that forever and um, that should keep this quadrant safe. What about Saipan? Can you do the same uh, with your Wildcats? <laughs> so let's send you up and get you to do a course which is similar to that. Nice and easy little scouty scouty. You do your thing, my friend. And we'll keep an eye on that. Maybe we'll see if they're doing that still. Uh, truck, how about we do the same for you? You got 12 Wildcats playing with your games over here. Um, let's do that same type of scouty route. Because again, the goal here is to 408 right there. Good enough. about you? How come you're not playing the game? Let's get you guys going too. Doing the same thing. And the, the thing here is we want them to continue to do these routes. 408. See how that one's really... Why is that one so much different from this one? I don't know. Alright, do that. You guys go out and have fun. What about you, Cosray? You got three. So let's do you guys as well. Mine as well. So let's zoom in real close and get you to do a proper screen. That's good enough for you. Tarawa, how come you're not doing the same thing? Is it needed? No. Is it something to uh, make the game try to be slower? Or we max out our capabilities of everything in the game? Ch yeah, kind of. Um, am I okay with that? I am. I think it adds to what the game can be and what it is. And I think it makes it fun. That's it. You do that. Get these guys rolling away. I hope you're enjoying the uh, video today. I really do. Um, I have some pretty good energy levels today. Uh, now let's take a look and see if these things actually did and stayed up. Looks like they did. Yeah, Wildcats, 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 Corsairs, Wildcats. What do you guys got going on over here? I ah, can't launch aircraft because you suck. Um, you're going out. You're going in, you're going in, you're going in. Still don't know why this one -ish ship allows that to happen, but I'm okay with it. Let's keep it going. I think it's due for another supply uh, convoy. We should probably see them appear here somewhere. 
Maybe we'll go in with guns again instead of aircraft. What do you think? Maybe we'll change some ordnance instead of doing um, torpedoes. Maybe we'll go in with rockets. I don't know. What would you guys like to see? We got to see the, the big guns shoot. Do you guys feel that the... Uh, we still got these guys up. Wildcats. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't happen in the past. Hellcats are up. Okay, let's put you guys up. Let's see if we can get you guys to, to be friendly with your cap. Um, CW21s and I want you guys to do a you can only do 273 so it's not that big of a uh, scouty pattern but I think it will be okay Maybe it's the abrupt turns that causes it to break, um, but we'll see if these guys can maintain. I'm gonna let this go for a quick second. And then we're gonna go in. And launch up these guys to go the other way. I want them to scout this way. These guys can go 373, so we're actually going to scout these guys out here a little bit. So let's course you straight out. Close enough. Let's see if that is maintained throughout the uh, overnight period. Tarkan, what do you got? You got you guys too. Uh, we're gonna send you out with nothing. And we want you just to do a pattern here. So we're gonna have you go this way, this way. see if you maintain that um, Kitty Hawks you guys have been doing this so that's fine we'll keep you doing that I don't think we have any other aircraft to do scoutings with let's see nope I'm okay with Beauforts waiting in case they're needed what are you guys doing you guys aren't doing anything um, because you don't have an awful lot to do anything with. Uh, but what we can do is we can send out... <clears throat> and I want you kind of to do a, a thing like this. Do that and just to make it really crazy let's send you boys up six forty eight is quite a bit uh, so we can send you on a rougher route um, deeper into the heart of Greenage. So you do that. And I'm happy right now. Let's uh, let those guys go. So if we go back to thinking about scouting and things like that, 
we, we look at this and we say, okay, we want to scout something. You look at the endurance without bombs and with bombs. What is it without? So 212 to no bombs is 282. Now the thing that I used to do quite often in this game is I would use utilize this. I use it with the carriers and with certain planes it works and with other planes it doesn't. Um, it seems fighter planes like to have their own course established. Uh, with scout planes, for example, if I did that, which is 143 miles, and said reoccur, it does a break. I'm not sure if that's because it's the distance back to the mainland is, is not enough or what, but we're going to see what happens with this one here, if I can remember. So let's go and it should do it for the day he's gonna sit and wait and then land but then he doesn't go up again see how he's he didn't launch again so let's pause now I want to um, go back and try it again but this time we're gonna establish our own course this way this way so we're gonna do a similar thing that we did before and we're just going to do it ourselves this time so let's see if he does that the following day or continues throughout the day should launch again he does so now the next thing to look at is does he do it tomorrow so let's think about that Kingfisher would you find Hey, looky, looky, you have another uh, thingy to look at. Um, so we're going to do our thing again, Mark. And the distance between our battle group here backslash, which is not the backslash arrow, but the one below it. I don't know what that's called. It's the uh, straight line that leans to the left. You guys can all tell that I'm not thinking of certain things at this time. So you hold it down and you drag it out 240 nautical miles to its current location. So if we go over here and we say, what do we want to launch? Lexington, we want you to do something today. So we're going to say, you're going to put up cap this time. And we want you to put up a group of fighters. And you are the Sarah Lex battle group. My god. I don't want to say it again, but it, you know, it is a thing that I don't, don't like about this late game stuff is the list list is huge and it doesn't organize and it should I wanted to group it by alphabetical or I wanted to group it by something um, larger ship size maybe fleet like if you have a carrier it should be at the top of the list and if you have a supply it should be the next or just a destroyer group um, subscreen they should be in their groups but it doesn't do that. So I want you to do that forever in a day, at least for today anyways. And then we're going to go over and uh, lex out some more aircraft. And we're going to do 16 um, rockets on these guys. And we're going to see how well this works. Because I have a feeling it's not going to be great. I have a feeling it's going to be ugly. And I have a feeling uh, the accuracy is not going to be very good either. Um, so we're going to say done. Um, you guys are going to go this way. What direction is this guy going? So that's our first thing we want to check. He's heading south. Wait until he's gone. And we're going to put a P there. That's going to be our direction to go. 
and we're gonna course to here. Uh, these guys need some some uh, more help, so we're gonna send out um, from the Saratoga. We're gonna launch actually Lexington. Let's go to Lexington and launch aircraft. I uh, can't for 20 more minutes. That's because we sent out armed aircraft. The cap is fine, but the armed aircraft is what froze the Lexington. So let's send up this guy. Launch up. I want 12 fighters. With nothing. If I send him with bombs, that's it for the aircraft carrier for a time frame. And then I want them to follow the... Avengers. And then we are going to go over here again to the Saratoga and I want to launch more aircraft and we are going to try Avengers with something different. This may not work out well but we're going to send it with Tiny Tim's and Havars. Now <laughs> I've tried this in the past we're going to try it again see what happens. Last time I did this they did not do well. Um, I do not think that the uh, Tiny Tims are in they're, they're modeled to it's basically an av Avar I don't think it does anything um, let's have you do that and uh, Wildcats did we send you the right way yeah okay so let's get these guys to muster here hopefully we can do it um, properly And just to be clear, um, let's Lexington up some Dauntlesses. And we're gonna 500 pounder these guys. And we're only gonna send 12. And I want you to be with the, the Avengers. So let's see if we can get these guys on mark. Uh, these guys are going to arrive early and we'll probably have to. So first thing to do is remove that. We don't need this anymore. Remove that. And um, what direction are they headed? So I want these guys to kind of hang out a little bit. So they're going to do this and hopefully it will allow them to catch up. All right, so that's close enough. Um, so we got all of our aircraft in the group. They should be over here somewhere, or maybe even a little further south. Let's see what we got. So that looks like an invasion group. Um, I've talked about this before. So they are heading south towards enemy waters, which is the United States um, Navy uh, to locations that we own we've taken over so outside of them being bad generals um, they are sending supplies troops and I think probably troops or no maybe that's supplies so you know, guns and ammo and stuff. So this is an aggressor. This is not a, you know, we look at this hospital ship. Um, they utilize these hospital ships for more than one thing. Maybe they dropped off troops and picked up uh, injured on the way back. But the way there, this is just idiotic to send these ships. Not to have any uh, destroyers is silly as well, but hey. I can't argue that matter. Um, so what are we going to do? Um, so the first 16. So let's do this. Um, let's break all you guys. Have you all form up. Not you. I 
I want you to form up your own. Um, so these guys, what are we going to do? Uh, we have 16, so we're going to say the first group, it would be groups of five, but we got one more. So the first group is going to be six. I don't really want to box you, I want to pick you. And these guys are going to be groups of five. And then you're going to be a group of five as well. Okay. So, we're going to have these guys go on attack mode, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let them do their thing. So we'll let them form up. So, this group, I want everybody going this way. Group one is going to go after this one. Group two. I want you to go after that one. And group three. I want you to go after this one. Now, we're going to have you go off in similar fashion. Um, F4s, I want you guys all to form up and turn. See how these guys are all going black like that? That's because of the number of groups of aircraft we have. So, these guys I want to form up in a group and these guys I want to form up in a group I don't like if they went red I'm not a fan okay so we got these guys don't want them to be red <coughs> there we go there's another color in the spectrum there we go. Well, you gotta fly right over stuff. So, something's not working here. Uh, these guys have a bars. These guys are supposed to have Avars and rockets, and they don't. At least I don't see them. These guys have one 500 pound bomb. So you guys do that. Okay, so we're gonna go and hit the attack button on these guys. Let's see what they do. You guys are going after that one, so let's uh, attack, form up again, and you guys are going after number two, so attack and form up. And immediately they dive to the deck, which is fine. Now the other Avengers. I want you to break. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So three groups of five.
you guys are gonna go after one. One. And everybody else is just gonna go and be friendly somewhere. You guys just go this way. And slow her down. Because we don't need you in the game yet. SPDs. You're back up for firing. So let's follow in the, the TBDs. I'm curious about this guy because he's got nothing on him. If they go in with guns, <coughs> that means that the the tiny Tims we established, and you're you're smoking. Why are you smoking? Is it because you had too much going on for you, huh? Let's see what they do. I have a feeling they're gonna go in and shoot their guns because there's nothing on the racks. So the rockets go, not very accurate at all, a lot of them hit the water. Let's see what this guy does. So yeah, guns. And only one guy is shooting. Um, so, So the horrible fact of the matter is, is that these guys went up with rockets and Tiny Tims, and no Tiny Tims were, it defaulted to nothing. Um, so all of these guys, form up, get up, and um, you guys are useless, go home. You guys, you did your job um, with not the greatest effect. So the rockets weren't the greatest thing to do. And you guys are going to go home. Um, so these are... We're gonna get these 500 pound bombs to do their business. And we're gonna have the fighters go on a turn. So let's watch this guy. Drop your bomb, my friend. So this is how we get rid of these guys. Um, SPDs, the torpedoes for the Dauntless or the Avengers were, were good. It's risky if they're armed and dangerous. Let's see how well these 500 pound bombs do. First group diving in. Let's see how well they hit.
didn't look very good. So, we obviously didn't do great. Let's see what the damage looks like. So heavy, moderate, critical heavy. Number two looks like she'll burn down, but this uh, big guy doesn't seem to be doing well. So we are going to say fighters. Get on the deck. I'm okay sending these guys in that way. Um, kind of wish they'd get on the deck sooner. So, speed is key. More guns, slower makes the accuracy better, but 118 is a little much. So we're going to attack from here. Let's see how well they do. Should be enough. This guy, the other guy stopped smoking, so that's not a good scenario. We have to come back for him. So we want everybody to be shooting. If you reform them up, it only makes the one lead ship do its job. So these guys are gonna speed up. As you see, this guy sunk. This guy's still dangerous. So we are going to get some distance. Um, again, after the attack is finished, they immediately go to 285, these particular aircraft. You have to adjust the slider. So let's form these guys back up again. And adjust the slider. Get them back in their positions. Have them go back on the deck. Change the target. From a distance, we're just going to hit uh, attack. If I reform them up, only the lead ship will do it. So just attack and let them go and do their thing. And they're a pretty good spread, even with guns. They're going a little slow, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes the formations seem a little wonky. Like, aircraft stick together like this, they should be separated. Because this guy shoots, he's shooting at his partner. Same with this guy, he's going to blow his wing off. This guy's on top of him. So, I kind of wish that the game made that work better, but it's okay. Now they're all focusing pretty much on the central spot. But we'll allow it. Early game, I'd probably attack now, not as soon as they start shooting, because we'd be at, at uh, 
sea level and then when they pop up to go in for their dive a lot of uh, rounds in the water there yeah and that's enough of you and that's how we say goodbye to uh, that supply chain which I'll just call an invasion group so three down four back up and let's get everybody out of here and we'll take three more command points because and they are not delivering to any of their locations that they want to take back so we go to uh, the Avengers RTB who else is over here um, Wildcats RTB who else um, the other group of Avengers that had Tiny Tim and Havars and apparently said they shot them, but we didn't see any go, so don't use uh, Tiny Tims. They don't work. It says one Tiny Tim and six Havars. No rockets were shot off this group. They all launched, uh, all shot their gun. One gun. That's it. And that attack only went in with one, sh one aircraft shooting the lead. Nobody else, because they formed them back up again. So that was unfortunate. And who else we got? Um, Dauntlesses. You guys can RTB as well, and you did well. So let's keep that going. Everybody land. Good. So let's get to the uh, morning, and then we'll call this one. Uh, two hour recording. Probably take me four, four hours to upload to process the. Uh, you know the sequence or whatever uh, so we're at five and we have um, I don't know if I want to look at this one or not let's look go into this one we don't go into these guys very often and we see that our supplies are doing their job um, we are uh, making a name for ourselves with these and um, keeping everything in order so I'd like to thank you for watching this uh, longer video um, not much longer than I normally do I do have to refer back to the beginning of the series when I said I wanted to keep videos uh, at approximately 30 minutes each that took I stuck to that for about 10 episodes or 10 parts and then uh, we gradually just increased uh, to over an hour every video. Uh, I like playing the game, so that's great. Um, I think when I started, I was doing multiple videos a day, uh, every day, and uh, I think I get a video every day almost. Um, I think I probably missed five days where I didn't put a video out through this whole series. Um, so I'm putting some effort in. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the uh, series. And I thank you for coming back and watching uh, the ones that do. And I hopefully, you know, if you like the series, you're subscribed so you get every video when it comes out um, or find time in your day to watch it. Maybe it's when you got your feet up and you're relaxing. I personally watch uh, YouTube as a entertainment purpose uh, source, if you will, on my TV. I have uh, YouTube linked into my TV, uh, so I watch it on a big 75-inch TV and put my feet up, and maybe eat my dinner watching somebody's playlist. Uh, there are a few that I watch, um, different games. I even watch War on the Sea playlists, and uh, I enjoy it. A lot of the TV today I'm not too pleased with. Um, I do stay away from the news unless it's impacting where I live directly. Um, yeah, they're all in it for somebody else's dollar, I think. Uh, yeah, the days of... You know, when I was growing up, TV was uh, three channels and public broadcasting. So, 
public broadcasting, if you don't know, that was where Sesame Street and Electric Company and all those kind of things were on, cartoons and maybe some, you know, like early discovery type of stuff where they talked about, you know, documentaries type of thing. Um, and then it was where I lived, 3, 5, and 9 were the channels. I lived in upstate New York. And uh, that's where we got to see one channel on Sundays for football, one channel on, on Saturdays for football, baseball, a couple times a week maybe. Um, you kind of valued because you didn't have many options to watch. Uh, now you got over 100 channels on cable TV or other services that you use, um, paid services, you know, Netflix and so on, you know, they cost a little extra. Uh, you get to watch whatever the heck you want. Um, so that's kind of cool for today's broadcasting, I guess. But uh, that's enough on that. I'll end this video and say uh, thanks again. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, taking the time especially. Appreciate it.